sure I get a quick little seat stander here. Uh, there we go. Uh. Yeah. Since I was knee high, chicks used to leave high, but I couldn't see why. Till I started buzzing like a beehive. Money make a girl tell her friends who be fine. Till I spot they moves like my last name on G high. All right, what's up, guys? It's uh, me, Steve, again. I am uh, doing another motor vlog. This is the second one. So today, I'm going to meet up with uh, my friend Andrew uh, at his job. Uh, I used to work there actually. Uh, I'm gonna start working there again tomorrow. It's my first day back, which is pretty cool. So it's uh, it's called Turn 14 Distribution. Uh, if you've watched my other vlogs, um, where they have the car show, that's the warehouse for uh, for the company, and that's the company I'm going back to. I'll be working corporate and uh, customer support. So if you ever need anything and have any problems, you could you could bitch at me. Or Andrew. Now nah, you can pitch it, Andrew. All right, so this will be fun. This is kind of like the first actual ride I'm doing where I'm uh, not going like you know two, three minutes from home. So this will be cool. Kind of excited. So with these things, you kind of have to, uh, that's fourth gear. <laughs> um, with these, uh, with these groms, you kind of got to take the back roads because they're not really meant for the, uh, for the highway. Because, I mean, 60 is about as fast as they'll go. So, that's on a good day downhill. be taking the back roads to his work, which will be cool. All right. So it's still nice out today. A little bit colder than yesterday, but then again, it's still early. It's like uh, not even 12 o'clock yet, so usually it heats up like 12-1. That's when it starts getting nice. through here. <laughs> Is that a really nice burp? But I, I closed my mouth, but... So... This will be fun. Well, I love riding. There's just something about it. I mean, if you haven't ridden before and you're thinking to get one of these, I mean, I don't know if it's a good starter bike, just because you might get bored of it. I've had, you know, a few 600s, um, and I mean, you know, they're fun and all, but sometimes you just want to chill, you know, go around town, put around, and like, it's hard to open a 600 or a liter bike up unless you're on a highway. And this thing, I mean, I'm like, I'm like topping out, cruising around back roads, you know? So it's, uh, it all depends on what, uh, what you like. What's your favorite, uh, you know, what's your favorite thing to do on these little monsters? But they are definitely fun. I mean, this thing is so much fun. You have no idea. Unless you have one, then you have an idea. But, so I am in Pennsylvania, it is March. And I'm like right in the tri-state area. I'm really not too far from New York. I'm like an hour and a half from New York. That's where I grew up, Staten Island. Represent. Uh, yeah, and um, around this area, I mean, a lot of nice roads, a lot of nice hills. Not as much traffic as in New York. It's starting to get a little worse now. So, hopefully, you can always find some new spots. But a uh, big spot around here, a lot of bikes go. I mean, you've probably heard of it if you're, if you're in a riding. It's uh, River Road, which is in New Hope. That's a pretty awesome uh, place to go. It's like a, all these windy roads that go on the Delaware River. You can go on the PA side or you can go to the Jersey side. Either one is really nice. It's cool. So it's, it's pretty neat. 
Um, yeah, no, it's still nice out. A little bit beat, but I can handle it. I have full face helmets, but I don't know, man. This just looks so much better, I feel like. Because it looks like a little pit bike. I feel like I look dumb wearing like a full face helmet. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. You guys can tell me. But it'll be cool. <laughs> These things are definitely fun, though. I mean, I used to do a lot of stupid stunting stuff on the street bikes. I wasn't like, you know, really good or anything. I could pop a wheelie up, ride it out. Um, do dumb stuff like stand on the seat stuff like that. I haven't tried it with this. I want to, but I want to get a little more comfortable on this first, just cruising around before I start acting all wild. That way I don't feel as bad when I drop it. Because I know I will. I mean, I've I've fell probably like a, at least five times. Most of the time it's like uh, I had my tinted windscreen on, you know. I'm riding around at nighttime, and uh, when you get to four-way stops like this, they, uh, they have a whole bunch of gravel in the center, and at nighttime, if you're wearing a tinted windscreen, you can't see the gravel at all, so you have no idea where it's at. And you pretty much just hit it, bust your ass. I would always, I mean, I fell so many times doing that, I was prepared for it. I used to like grab the handlebars and try to like throw myself under the bike to save the stainer cover. Even though it was only like a hundred bucks, but I was like broke back then. So. Yeah, but I learned, learned my lesson. Got my hand full of scars. Not gonna do, not gonna do stuff like that. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm stubborn. All right. So yeah, I'm literally gonna be like, like I don't know. I don't even know how long that ride was. Like six minutes, and this is the road that my. Uh, well, Andrew's work, but my work tomorrow is going to be on. So, I mean, it's right. It's not far at all. Really convenient. Nice to take a back road there. I could take the highway to go that way, but on this thing, I'm just going to stick to back roads. Definitely going to stick to back roads. Yeah. Cool thing is, in these vlogs, you'll see a lot of nice supercars, because in this area, a lot of rich bastards with a lot of money getting these cars so it's pretty cool so yeah up this hill Babylon Babylon business camps <laughs> yeah they send you to Israel for training just kidding I don't know one thing with this though is that uh, it's so light and flickable if I start doing my like, rude stunts on it I feel like I'm just going to bust my ass having to run the hard way can't do the same stuff because it's not going to hold up as well. I mean, obviously, if I was better, but if you watch my other vlog, you can tell I kind of suck. But it doesn't hurt trying, right? <laughs> so, yeah. I like doing stupid stuff. So, this is it right here on the right. Turn 14 distribution. This is their corporate. I'm gonna pass it because I kind of want to fool around a little bit, but I always get worried about cops because I don't know. I'm a, I'm a pussy. All right. Cool. I'm gonna find a nice parking spot right in the front right here. This will be cool. Sweet. Bye, Andrew. Well, you can't see him. He already walked in. So, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I got to run to my buddy Dom, too. He's going out to lunch. And uh, I will be there tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. <clears throat> it's going to be awesome. Cool. All right, let's go have some fun.
to get stand up so bad. They're just so hard. I wonder why it's cold. I didn't zip up my jacket. Definitely should do that. Alright, let's zip it up real quick. Alright. There we go. Much better. Alright. So this phone holder I got actually came with the bike when I bought it. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's so secure. It has these little rubber things around it and also it holds it here really tight. So it doesn't go anywhere. It's awesome. There's so many cool roads here, man. It's like, it's awesome. That's what I love about PA. I mean, you can just ride around everywhere you go. It's like nice turns, nice hills. It's pretty sweet. I really want to get that stand up so bad, but it's just so hard. I mean, it's still a little cold to ride, but I ain't never been a bitch. So, once once it gets a little nicer, everybody's gonna start, uh, everyone's gonna start riding their bikes. Let's get some stand-ups on this bitch. Ah, there you go. Ah, ah, still too much of a bitch to do it. I'll get it. Oh, nice beer behind me. Sweet. I used to have a beamer. Oh god, that was the biggest nightmare ever. I got a uh, 2011 335 XI all-wheel drive. Uh, or no, that was the X-Drive 2011. I think the X XI is the one before that. I had an 08 328 XI. That one was just naturally aspirated, but the uh, twin turbo I had all-wheel drive was fast, and I had full Remus exhaust, body kit. Uh, I think I got a picture of it. I'll show you a picture of it right here. Uh, that one I loved, but uh, the motor blew in it. I kind of bought it with a rod knock. You know, I got it was a lemon. I mean, I got screwed with that thing. I really wish I didn't because I loved that car. It was cool. It was fully loaded. It had a sunroof, push start. Had everything. It was it was really nice. Carbon fiber trim on the inside. It was a really, uh, really nice but, uh, car. But um, I mean, I I'm happy it's gone now. It was just such a headache. Too much of a headache. I mean, this thing moves. It's not. It's not super slow. I mean, at least it feels like it's not super slow. Uh, when you're when you're riding it right, it definitely moves. Like stuff like that, when you got downshift, then it's like hard, you gotta creep up. So, just gotta get used to it. It is really windy out today. Like, really windy. Passing down is as nice with this, but there's really no engine braking, so you gotta you gotta really time it right. Alright. Let's see here. I might go down this road over here. Uh, nah, he went down. I don't want to go down it now. Cool. 
Let's see if we can get a quick little seat stander here. Uh, there we go. Uh, man, I gotta get used to that. I'm getting a little too wild on this thing for the second ride. That's all right. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. Peace. And I ain't talking about that song of Miley Cyrus when I say all my records like a wrecking ball. I'm talking, I'm a wreck it all. Oh. <clears throat> Oop. Kickstand.